The Hey Queen After Show, where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, slayed with, sprayed with, and made with. Oh, oh my. <laughs> She'll spill a little tea. Mm. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, oh don't leave me spicy. Out. Oh, or if she needs to, she'll throw a little shade. Or just tell us something that we don't know. Today, we are so happy to have our beautiful, super talented little sis, Ms. Mayhem Miller, back in the house. The party, the party crasher. The party crasher, honey. Yeah. Oh, uh, and of course, look, who is this right here? It's a mannequin. Oh. It's a beautiful mannequin. Oh, my God. He's holding a beautiful shirt. Ooh, Ooh. yes, surprise, oh. surprise. <laughs> hey, Queen Beach House premieres in July. Ooh. Girk, show them what you're made of. Blah, 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 and boop, look at her. Bye, Gurgi. If you want to see Gurgi humping people and J-O-ing, go to Gurgi's <laughs> The Word uh, on his OnlyFans. <laughs> Lady Red, how are you feeling, sweetie? I'm feeling wonderful. I'm just sitting over here looking at her. Yes, you are. Because <laughs> there's so many hugs to look at today. I feel like a, I'm in the middle of the new Millennium Supremes right here. Mm. <laughs> With the three, Erica, you're blooming still, looking good. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Mayhem. Now, you also have an appropriate fan right here. I do. Your, give us a good look at that. The Mayhem Miller fan. The this Mayhem is, Miller Are you, fan. wait, you're pumping a look very similar to Erica in that yes, one. Yes, because we oh. are we are sisters of Rosebuds. <laughs> sisters of the sisters Garden. Sisters of the Traveling <laughs> Sisters Rosebud. of Rosebuds. Yes. No. <laughs> um, uh, like the t-shirt says, Hey Queen Beach House premiere in July with some very big guests. It's going to be really exciting. But in the meantime, we got another season finale to finish the season finale of Look Hall. All right. And I would not want to do it with anyone but you, sweetie. All right, let's do it. Because I know you know how to play this game. The game is fun. And you are going to play it good. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let us begin. Okay. Look at her. <sighs> Oh. Raven. Look at her. Oh, oh my gosh, Raven. Now like, you, as we saw on the main show, um, yes. you've known Raven since before. Yes. She knew how to paint her nose into a tiny uh, little pointy delight. Yeah, I, I learned how to uh, not breathe <laughs> through the paint of Raven, just like many of other queens, because everyone has her face. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and that is shade. <laughs> um, yeah, Raven and me started on the same day doing drag. We're drag twins, and we've been saying that for the past 16 years now. Wow. Yeah, same club, same night, same show. Now, she has made quite a transition into uh, doing RuPaul's Beat. Uh, yeah. What, what, a, what a crazy experience. It's weird, because it's like, what the fuck? You go on the show as a contestant, then you become the the person behind the person. Like, are you kidding me? Like, to have the opportunity to have the face of RuPaul in your hands, that that is just like every makeup artist's fucking dream, every gay boy's fucking dream. Like, it's so great. Like, I had the I had the luck of having Raven paint me one time, uh huh, years upon years ago, and I can't wait for someone to find that picture. Oh, really? Because <laughs> I don't have it anymore, but I know it's out there. And uh, she did a great job. Yeah, she did a great job on me years and years ago. Did Raven give you advice specifically about the show and what to do and what not to do or anything? Um, no, she did not. She just said, go and have fun, bitch. Mm -hmm. She's like, you wanted this for a long time. I hope you're ready. Oh, I was right. like, oh, shit. It was like, she was actually speaking truth there. Cause, yes, she was. Because, honey, I was not ready for what was about to happen, <laughs> honey. But yes, yes, she, she did give me some good advice. My sister's always good with What's me. something, what's, I mean, you've known her so long. What's something about Raven that we don't know? Like, 
she is a little bit of a of a curated mystery. She lets you in a little bit, and we all know her personality. Uh, I don't know but how But what far, don't we know? How far should I go with this one? All oh, the God. way. I'm like, do I want to keep my friend, or do I want to <laughs> give you good TV? Um, Everybody knows the answer is good TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Um, uh, a fun fact about Raven is um, we used to play a game called Pow, Pow, Pow. Okay. And Pow, Pow, Pow is a game where we would be at the after party and get so drunk that we would get naked and we would, we would pop our dicks to fucking pow, pow, pow on your stomach. So you just flip, 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 and you'd be like, pow, pow, pow. So, <laughs> so, so we would do that, but we would climb trees at my friend's house, and we would, there's pictures of that somewhere, too. My God. And we're butt-ass naked in the tree, just fucking shaking our dicks with each other. <laughs> we were playing pow, pow, pow. So that's something that no one knows, that they you know all what? know now. You so. are right about that, sweetie. Oh, this episode of Look At Her is starting off right. Yes, a, a, a friendly, good, fucking plain naked with your sisters. Just it's a pow, pow, pow with pow, your sisters. Pow, pow, pow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, speaking of sisters, here's your number one sister. Look at her. Okay. The Morgan, Morgan McMichaels. McMichaels. Look at that bitch. Um, what were you thinking as her best friend during the Tyra Sanchez R.I.P. Morgan scandal? Okay, I'm gonna give you the real fucking scoop on yeah. this one. So I was at my house and I'm just sitting there watching TV, going through fucking um, social media, and I think I was on Facebook, and people started saying, started like saying, shit, like, oh my god, I'm so sad about Morgan McMichaels. Oh my god, poor Morgan McMichaels. Oh, you know, rest in peace, Morgan <laughs> McMichaels. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Shit? So I'm like, wait. So I keep scrolling, I keep seeing it. So I'm like, okay, call her. And I knew she was at a show, and so I kept blowing up her phone and she's not answering, she's not answering. And I'm like, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. And like my worst nightmare, I really thought something oh bad gosh. happened to my sister, my best friend. And I was just like, I was distraught. Like tears were coming out and I was just like, oh my God, try to call her, her husband. So I, I, I was calling Hassan and wasn't gonna answer from him. And I'm like, who else would be around her at this moment that I could get a definite answer? Cause I right. did not want to call her dad in case it was a situation like this. Yeah. So finally, um, she went live on uh, Instagram. Okay. And she had addressed it. And she was like, I'm very much alive. I don't know what the f Tyra is, is doing, but I'm cool. And I was like, wait a minute. This is not f cool. Uh huh. This is not cool. Because not only was I in. Yeah, you were stressed out. I was completely stressed out. I was like, what the fuck? Like, who plays games like that? That's not to be played with. Mm -hmm. I don't give a f how serious or how mad you might be at someone. You don't play around with death. You don't yeah. do that. That's it's not, definitely hardcore. That's not funny. That's going to a different level. This is drag. Right. Let, let's be let's be for real about it. <laughs> this is supposed to be drag. It's supposed to be fun. Stop all that. <laughs> that's not cute. Um, and so did you ever confront her or talk to her about it? To uh, Tyra? Yeah. No, because we are, our, our paths don't really cross. Uh -huh. I did I, I did see well, her. Certainly not, not after ago. that time. Oh, honey, because <laughs> I was not thrilled about seeing her after that. But we did see each other uh, recently. And she had, uh, her and Morgan had, you know, worked things through. Mm -hmm. um, as much as one can as work much as it one through. Can. Right. Um, I mean, Morgan did have the best moment when she appeared at Mickey's that night. Oh, honey, in all my sister black. got a good clap back. Honey. Yeah. She said, baby, look, I'll show you a dead bitch. Yeah. And honey, don't play with Miss Morgan McMichaels, honey, because she is the one bitch that will be vindictive, honey. She will get you real good and she will prove her point on stage. Oh, when Always. the curtains opened up to uh, Evanescence bring me back to life, and there she was in a veil with a shrine of herself I next to her. I was died. like, well, that I is died. pretty great. I died. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm like, here we go. Exactly why she's my best friend. <laughs> Honey, we don't play games. We give you the show. Yes. All right. Look at her. Ah, <laughs> my baby. Adore Delano. Now, um, as we've mentioned a couple times yes. on this show, but I find it fascinating uh, that you originated the party catchphrase. Party. And, <laughs> and Adore had been coming around to your shows yeah. and had been hanging out with you, yeah. become friends, and she had said it on the show organically, mm -hmm. and then it became hers. Because it, it just became... 
that that's what me and all my friends do. Like we just sit around and it's just a just a word of explanation. You just be like party girl. Like yeah. it, it just comes out all the time. And so she went and she just said it organically and it just became this catchphrase for her. And you know, it was it, it was what it was. And I'm happy that it happened for her. And she's so talented. She's an amazing person. And um, ever since all that shit happened, you know, me and her have talked about that extensively. And, oh, of course. And she's gone to social media and she's told all the kids how much she adores me and where, where she got that from. And, yeah. I, and I appreciate that she did that because for the longest time, a lot of people thought I was biting her style and it was so shitty. Because That's what must have been the most annoying part. I'm like, baby. You're like, I made it up. Baby, reclaiming it. I'm like, God damn, let a bitch have something shit. Can I have something? Fuck. But you know, the, the fans Fans, they, they really get to you sometimes. They really like to try to stir up some bull. But oh yeah. I'm happy that me and my and my sister got to a point where we could really address it, and now people know what it really is. That's right. <laughs> what about a young adore made you want to book her for uh, for your shows? Uh, the one thing that stood out about her back then was she did uh, Little Kim, How Many Licks. Uh huh. And that was my signature for fucking years. Every show I did, I was doing fucking Lil' Kim. And so when she came out and did Lil' Kim, and I think she did it live, actually, in the competition. Interesting. Because she started off doing our competitions. Oh, okay. So it was like, me and Morgan had competitions, and then that's where, like, she came in. She did the competition. And I saw that talent in her, and then she started doing my... My uh my weekly Wednesday night show that was an amateur show, and she was there every week and was there to learn and grow, and then she got on the show. And then it all, she became literally a, a full-on pop star. Yeah, yeah. I Fucking mean, amazing. Amazing, she's amazing. talented. Look at Hawk! For part two of Look at Hawk, click here. For more incredible episodes of Look at Hawk, click down here. And don't forget to subscribe! subscribe. <laughs>